So welcome to the seven day challenge, which is going to be starting tomorrow. We I just like to give you a little bit of information just to help things run more smoothly for you and to really be clear about why you're doing this. So the reason you're doing this is to change your state. So to give yourself an experience for seven days of being able, when you choose to, to really change your state. And all that takes is commitment, having a few tools in your toolkit in order to do that and a focus. So we're going to spend 15 minutes-ish every day just doing that to give you some tools to play with, to experiment with, to 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 enjoy throughout the rest of your day, throughout the seven days and beyond. Having said that, what is really important is you just commit day by day. So you're not starting seeing yourself getting towards the end. Just every day, make that commitment again. Today, I'll focus. Today, I'll focus on this. And the focus is to be able to change your state. Um, just to be clear, this isn't about putting a plaster on a broken leg and just becoming happy, clappy, positive, everything's fine, let's ignore all the, all the bad stuff. Um, however, what tends to happen is those negative habits, those negative beliefs, those, those patterns that keep coming round again and again, um, you know, whether it's an argument that you keep having and a struggle you get into or just this, uh, what goes round your head that doesn't serve you anymore. Even if there's a valid reason, at one time there was a valid reason, we're looking to build a resilience so we, we can practice having more power over our own emotion, being able to orchestrate our own bodies, our own feelings. Um, there is a time to dive deep and look at that. And, I, you know, th there's a time to work with a professional. There's a time to talk to friends about things that you really wanted to get clear on. So what we are doing here is acknowledge at the beginning of the day how you're feeling. So if you're feeling low, if you're feeling upset, angry, just acknowledge and then just practice making a shift. Because every time we do that, we're in a stronger place to deal with whatever it is that keeps cropping up. So that's what we're doing in this seven days. You're not going to change habits in seven days. It's not going to be enough. However, you will have a powerful experience. If you turn up and you do that for yourself every day for seven days, then you're going to be able to take the next step, Okay, which is either doing this every day you'll have a bit of a toolkit that you can work with so stay with it if you give us a thumbs up you share it with somebody else a comment then we will put you into a prize draw to win a free coaching call and if you do that for all the seven days then we'll put you in the prize draw for a year's free membership so come and join us have fun see how it feels to you and let us know what's going on. And we we want to get this out to as many people as possible. When we change our vibration, then it changes the vibration of the planet because when we're feeling healthier, happier, more expansive, we're naturally more generous, more tolerant, more understanding. So start with yourself. If you get your own house in order, and on the seven days, you will have an experience of just being able to do that at choice, when you're ready to change, when you're ready to upgrade. And after that is just practice. We are what we practice. We get really good at whatever we do, whether that's being stressed, angry, afraid, or joyful, expecting the best, enjoying life. So let's begin to practice something that really aligns with our values, our dreams, our hopes, our aspirations. Also want to show you now just a sequence of points that we will use each day. Um, they are points from emotional freedom technique and I'll use a portion of our time together to tap in order to change our state. So that on the inside of the eyebrows, we'll just be tapping here on the outside, just the corner of the eyes. And it's worth learning this little sequence underneath the eyes so you can really dive into the experience underneath the nose, 
and I will be doing it with you every day so you can just follow under just on the chin there under the lip and then there's these K20 K27 kidney 27 points so just on your collarbone you go down and out into a dip you're tapping there you can look them up on acupuncture.com but if you tap around this area you're going to hit the right points we're not doing acupuncture you will get them okay and then the side of the body so about halfway down the the rib cage there just at the side of the body and then the side of the legs so the little where the seam of your trousers fall or where the seat natural seam of the leg is just tapping it's about halfway down there and the top of the head and I'll do that again as I explain why we do this so what we're doing when we tap is we are in a nutshell this is tapping on these points we're tapping on different points that relate to different energy systems in the body which relate to different organs and each organ relates to different emotions so as we're tapping you're able to calm the body down and what scientific research has shown is that when we tap it gives the amygdala which is like the smoke alarm in the brain it gives the amygdala the message that is okay to calm down so when we're feeling stressed the amygdala has a lot of activity and when we tap, it's shown that it reduces the amount of activity in the amygdala. So basically, you're putting your body into a safe place. I'm going to do that sequence one more time so you can learn as I'm talking. It, it gives you the OK signals. And when your body feels safe and open, that's when you'll feel safe enough to change a state that feels more joyful, more open, it's easier because when you're on the alert and you're stressed, everything in your body is saying, don't relax, stay with what you know. It's not safe out there. So you're just helping through somatic practice to shift your state so you can also change your thoughts, your belief, your attitudes. You can practice doing that. Okay. Deep breath and release. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow for day one. We um, also have a big resource of YouTubes. We've got a mailing, um, a mailing list where we send out a newsletter every month. So sign up for the mailing list. 